All right, so we all know underspins like this fish head spin are great, especially for suspended fish, regardless of what depth they are in the water column. That's the great thing about a bait like this. You can fish it at all different depths and the little spinner breaks up the view of the trailer, whatever trailer you've got on there. So you wonder what, what types of trailers can I use? There's a variety. Um, for me personally, it's always gonna be some kind of minnow imitator. This is a minnow type bait. So I'm not gonna put, you know, a crawfish looking trailer on here. You can try it. Uh, stranger things have happened for me personally. It's gonna be, you know, a minnow imitator. Uh, my personal favorite is this net bait little spanky, just a small profile, little solid body boot tail swim bait pairs up really good with that fish head spin um, also probably the my next favorite is going to be just a straight tail um, in this case sometimes less is more so you don't have so much tail action going on there um, but you're not limited to that and and one of the things too is you can change up the profile of this bait uh, sometimes a bigger bait is better like this uh, the net bait the full size spanky uh, but also a twin tail grub is probably something that you don't see very often that works really good. Just a just a different look, especially if you're fishing an area where the fish have seen a lot of underspins and uh, and even the old school single tail grubs. And you can mix up the colors a little bit. Sometimes if the water's dirty, the chartreuse uh, glitter can be good. Uh, but for me, it's typically going to be some kind of minnow imitator trailer. So grubs, swim baits, straight tails, all of those are, are excellent trailers. And, and I just... Uh, I encourage you to try different ones and find out what's working that day. I think you're going to have a lot of success with those underspins.